Hello YouTube. I just got up this morning, uh, it's about 4 o'clock in the morning, and uh, going through my emails and I got this notice that this young lady had posted this video, and uh, as you can see here on the screen, it says, this is blanking scary, zealots have taken over, at a loss, at a loss for words. And um, apparently what we have here is we have some alleged Christians praying for Donald Trump here. And, uh, you know, I am a Christian. I'm a hardcore Christian. Very dedicated believer. And if you notice, I don't fit the bill here. I don't have the image. It's uh, considered common or appropriate in many circles. That's okay. Because I don't play those games. But uh, what we have here is uh, she went further went with a comment said, this is blanking scary. Listen to this blank and tell me if it makes you feel comfy inside. WTF is going on. Ah. Well, certainly prayer for potential President of the United States uh, is not a bad thing. So that in itself, you know, is, is, is obviously positive in, in my reality. Uh, here's my comment. The thing that's really scary in my reality is the seemingly ever-increasing number of antichrists in America. And this as she continues to be flushed right down the toilet. But alas, stiff-necked people deserve to have their necks broken as they have clearly invited same upon themselves. And then there's one other comment that uh, the gentleman states that he's not sure if Trump believes these people are for real or not, but he's just playing the political game and he makes reference to uh, some type of sexual act, which is inappropriate. But you know, I just wanted to bring this to your attention because this is the reason America's in the shape it's in today. We've thrown God out of the country, we've thrown God out of the schools, we've legalized killing unborn babies. Uh, we call it mother's rights, as though the babies don't have any rights at all. We've got a flaming homosexual in the White House, married to a dude in a dress, and uh, you know, he's about to get us in World War III. Our economy's failing. And, um, you know, World War III looks like it's right around the corner. <clears throat> so, you know, in my reality, what's scary is the people that continue to deny the, the words and this book is true and it's going by the book because all you got to do is read it just read the book you'll see it uh, that said I'm not saying all these people here are walking with the Lord I'm sure some of them are wolves I'm sure some of them are fleecing the flock if not most but I don't know them individually, so I can't judge them. Other than to say that uh, it is common that there's a lot of wolves among the sheep, among the flock, as was prophesied. But those of us that read the word can spot them. Um, recently we had the Pope visit and um, you know, he's made some crazy statements, just 
you know, he comes in his own name, he says. And he said that Christ fell on the cross, humanly speaking. Well, I got news for the Pope. Um, one, Jesus said that, you know, others would come in their own name and people would accept them. And that's a fulfillment of prophecy in the book. And also, um, Jesus did not fail on the cross. That was the whole purpose that he came. And it was written before he even came what his purpose was. He won on the cross. He laid his life down. He willingly said, or he said that he willingly was going to lay his life down. There was no defeat there at all. And here we have the, a gentleman that's supposedly one of the biggest leaders in the religious world that doesn't even know scripture. Yet people follow him by the billions and the billions. And, uh, you know, I'm sitting over here in the Philippines doing my best to wake up Catholics. We got a church down the street with an eye of Horace right over the front door. And, uh, you know, I get little or no support from the so-called church. And, uh, you know, it's, it seems like it's all about money. You know, people think that, you know, Trump's going to come in and turn the economy around. Everybody's going to be happy and prosperous and all that again. But, you know, even if that were true, even if he could turn the economy around, which I don't think is going to happen. Um, if he is elected. The word says that what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and still lose his soul? You can have it all and still be lost. Or you could have almost nothing and still be really rich. The word says Don't invest your time, effort, and energy in the things that moth and rust destroy. But lay up your, for yourself treasures in heaven. So how do you do that? You follow the word. You be obedient to the word. You share the word. You teach the word. Um, you rebuke if necessary, you reprove if necessary, because that's what the word is for. And yes, you do have to judge. And a lot of Christians will say, I don't judge. Well, no, we're supposed to judge. That's our job, is to judge. What Jesus actually said was, don't judge if you have a log in your own eye. Get the log out of your own eye. Then you can see to get the moat out of your brothers. So, in other words, make sure you're running a clean, tight ship with the Lord before you start judging. Because you will be judged by the same measure that you judge. So, I can't tell you how many times a day I see Scripture twisted, distorted, misquoted, misapplied, and, uh, you know, it seems like few get it. Everybody wants to follow these big-time preachers, and you know, because they're flashy. But, uh, you know, Jesus saw all through that. It's like the woman that dropped a few coins in the donation at the temple and the, even the apostles said oh boy a big spender here you know and Jesus says what are you talking about she gave more than anyone else all these other people gave about from their gave from their abundance she gave all she gave all 
Are you giving your all? Are you sitting back waiting on a rapture? It's not going to happen until the last day at the last trump. So, you guys need to wake up. Doing my best to help you. But, uh, I see a lot of people still dead asleep. Love you. You guys take care. If I can help you in any way, please let me know. Okay? Take care. Bye now.